Hi everyone, uh, this video is about repent and live or sin and die. Okay, But before we start off, um, let us pray first. Heavenly Father God, Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for your message. I pray all the viewers will understand your message and that they will repent of their sins and they will obey your will. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Uh, this message is for all who are concerned on how to stop the coronavirus. Um, Heavenly Father God says, This is what will happen to those people who choose to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and repent of their sins. There will be people who will be physically healed because Jesus Christ has still a mission for them on earth to share their testimony to all people and to lead people to develop a direct relationship with Jesus Christ. While others, Jesus Christ will allow them to die and take home in heaven because he knows that if they continue to live on earth, they will greatly suffer that they may lose their faith in Jesus Christ and they end up losing their soul in hell. Okay? While those who choose not to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and they're not willing to repent before they die, they will end up dying with their sins and thrown to hell for eternity. Uh, Jesus Christ knows that their heart is not willing to repent, then God will take their life away after they were given many chances to repent. Okay. So that is the message for all of us, that it is really important that we repent of our sins and we admit it to Jesus Christ, that now is the time really that uh, we really need to do it. I mean, we don't know if tomorrow is uh, another opportunity for us to repent of our sins. So don't wait till tomorrow or next week or next year. You know, do it now because now you're still alive. Tomorrow, you don't know if you'll live. Okay? Um, so, um, and if you don't know Jesus Christ, you got to do your research, know who he is, and what did he do for you. And if you're ready to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, make sure you do it sincerely, humbly. You really mean it. You really want him. And it's not that someone forced you or convinced you to accept him because uh, you got scared that if you don't accept him, you'll go to hell. You know, it's that's not excuse for you to accept it. The the reason you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior is because you truly love him. Because he gave his life to you so that you'll be given an opportunity every day to repent. And that when you repent and you obey Jesus Christ, then you um you'll be saved and uh, you'll enter heaven if you do that every day of your life, okay? So just continue to repent. Don't stop and forgive all the people who hurt you. It's worth it because you don't want to go to hell. You don't want to see Jesus Christ face to face and, and he telling you, I don't know you and you say Lord I you're my Lord and Savior I did all this for you and he says I don't know you because you didn't repent I don't know you because you didn't develop a relationship with me I don't know you because you never obeyed me you chose to do your own will that hurts and you don't want that it's worth sacrificing everything on earth 
just to please Jesus Christ because the reward is heaven forever but if you choose to do your own will you choose to sin you'll end up in hell when you go when you die if you don't repent and that hell is real and it's not where uh, souls of people should be but they choose to not accept Jesus Christ they don't want to repent and they don't want to have a relationship with Jesus Christ they disobeyed God don't do that don't be like them you're given an opportunity right now to make things right to be to repent of your sin take it seriously okay so um, if you guys have any questions you guys have any comments just talk to Jesus Christ about it don't talk to me I'm a servant of Jesus Christ I'm just delivering you the message of repentance and and developing a relationship with Jesus Christ you don't need me you need Jesus Christ he is the way the truth and the life obey him do his will not your will okay so this is the end of the message may father god holy spirit lord jesus christ give you the love peace wisdom and understanding and discernment of jesus christ in your mind and heart every day of your life in jesus christ's name amen